6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, uh, 42, 48, what's after 6, 72, and 8, and we have 1, so 79. Alright, I am halfway done. I'm very tired and sweaty from carrying all of these boxes, so I had to quickly change. Um, anyways, typically I am not personally the one to do all of the inventory counting, just because it's very tedious and it sucks up a lot of time. And I don't mean this in the wrong way, but I just have other things to attend to. But the reason why I am the one doing the inventory count this time is because we are actually missing a box, which is just an absolute nightmare and because they are all under one master tracking number they all show up as delivered so I don't actually know which one is missing um, so I need to go through all of the dozens of boxes that I have here and since I'm already like opening up the boxes I might as well just do an inventory count So I have, oh gosh, two boxes of the art prints. This is only batch one. Um, because I wanted to get the orders rolling, I only ordered the first half so that we can get them earlier. And right now I'm going to just double check that the coloring's okay. Okay, so I moved over to this like temporary desk and I am going to put all of the prints in piles because I want to take a nice photo. The things I do for Instagram. Something that I enjoy, so it's all good. Okay, I closed one of the blinds, so the lighting shouldn't be as annoying anymore. So because my team is waiting to package orders, um, I am going to sign a little bit of every single print so that everyone has the stock to put into the orders, and then I'll just keep rotating between all of the designs. Um, and I'm kind of overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. I guess I'll just go with like whatever is the most popular, which happens to be the coffee guide prints. And this is my personal favorite too. Next up on my to-do list is taking photos of the new washi tapes. So I'm going to be doing both group photos and individual photos. Alright, so I took about 30 to 40 photos and I picked out one or two that I like for each design and I also took a few group photos. Um, so I'm going to edit them on the computer and put the pictures up on Shopify because currently all of the photos are digital. Part of editing is ensuring that not only does the picture look pretty, but also that the colors match what it looks like in real life as much as possible. So what I'm going to do now is actually um, count the washi tapes a second time. I think I forgot to log two of the boxes onto my spreadsheet, which is like so stupid, but whatever. Um, I'm going to just double check and do a second count and make sure everything's all good.
Okay, so it is pretty late right now, but I want to get out some of the washi pre-orders just to, you know, get things going. I was going to start tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is the journaling cards that will be going out with the pre-orders, um, which a lot of people pointed out that there is a grammatical error, and I see it now, and it's kind of bothering me, but yeah. Anyways, I will know for the future. These are all of the same cards, and I should have about 200 left over um, after I'm done packing. And again, it's really late right now, so I don't have any natural light, and this looks very shady. I will try to get better footage tomorrow. So I have been trying to film an Instagram reel for my washi tapes and it is just not going so well. I, in general, I'm just terrible at making short videos like things like TikTok and yeah, TikTok. I'm not very good at stuff like that. So yeah, I'm not having a fun time, you guys. But after filming my video, I think I'm going to head over to a cafe and I'm gonna do some sketches for my August freebie. It is July 27th and I'm supposed to post on, is it July 30th or, oh no, 31st. Okay, so I have a few more days, but I should really get my August freebie going. I'm currently sleeping on the floor because I'm so exhausted. I think it is a good time to walk over to the cafe that I was talking about and get some coffee. Okay, so I am going to start using this little contraption to put in the extra washi tapes. I should probably explain a little bit. So the reason why I am working in this warehouse, it's really messy because it's where we receive all of the packages and it's where we keep all of our boxes. I'm working here for social distancing reasons. We hired two helpers to help, obviously, with um, packing the washi pre-orders. We are all fully vaccinated and stuff, but just because they're not family members, I just feel better about just spacing everybody out. So that is why I'm taking this shady looking room, but I promise it's not actually very shady. Hey guys, so it is currently 2 a.m. Actually like 1.45. Um, and I think this is going to be the end of my video. I'm just going to spend the next little while in real time packing orders and you can stay tuned if you want or you can click off the video. I am still in our warehouse even though there's literally no one awake to socially distance from but I really do like this place. It's very quiet and I just love that. Um, I also wanted to show you this little like business card holder thing that I have and I just have the June freebie the bean samplers if I need it, and also the um, pride finals. So um, I'm gonna pack 
just a few orders. I probably won't show you all of them just because it's kind of repetitive. And I guess I'll explain a little bit our current situation. So I mentioned this in the Facebook group. Um, I hope this isn't too loud. I think I'm going to unwrap all of this because I know I speak rather quietly, so you probably can't hear. So I mentioned this in the Facebook group, but basically our washi tapes finished production and arrived much quicker than our other items. So during the pre-order event in June, um, I also had pencil pouches and stamps, but those take several weeks to finish. So since we already have the washi tapes ready, I'm just going through all of the orders that we received, and I'm only packing the orders that contain washi. Um, and these orders tend to be a little bit smaller, so it's actually really easy to pack them. Okay, so this person ordered Floral Forest fall critters and winnie and friends i just do a quick quality check to make sure all is well and then as i put these washies into the cellophane bag i cross-reference the packing list that's on the screen i don't have the um envelopes printed so i'm just going to use a sticky note to indicate who this order is for so um i can print the envelopes later on and match it up properly on the order, I put in my initials so that just so that if I make a mistake, then I know that I need to blame myself. <laughs> okay, this is the next one. This actually reminds me I need to purchase more of the Tombow Fudenoske brush pens because this one is really frayed, as you can see. And this is the um, Zebra Sarasa pen in caramel. Is it caramel? I think it's like, or maybe it's camel. I don't know, it's either caramel or camel, which I know are two completely different things. I know that I can always hire people to pack my orders, and I have been doing that, um, as I mentioned earlier, especially because since I'm the only one who can do all of the design work, um, it makes more sense to devote more time to designing. But I feel like no matter where my business goes, I'm always going to want to be involved in the packing process, just because like being up close to your own product, I think is very important. And honestly, it just makes me so happy seeing these washies. Like I, you know, thought of these designs and I designed them and sent them in for multiple drafts. Um, so to see them actually in person is just a whole nother feeling. Something else that's kind of fun is next week, August 6th? Yes, next Friday is actually my 21st birthday which um yeah <laughs> personally i don't really put much significance to my birthday but um for the shop i always like to do something fun and every year we like to host a birthday bash this is the first year where i need to push the birthday event back maybe one like around two weeks i think i need to push it back around two weeks um just because I have all of these washi pre-orders to process and I don't want to, I don't want it to overlap too much. The hard thing is um, the specialty products I designed for the wash, or not for the washi, for my birthday is already here. Um, well, not all of them, a few of them. And I am just so, 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 so excited. Um, a lot of them are new products that I've never done before. One of the items I haven't seen any other planner shop, I think, do it yet. So yeah, I'm just overall very excited and I cannot wait to show you all um, but yeah I will have more details up in the Facebook group on Instagram and I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to be good about um, updating the website as well with all of the details when the time comes usually I like to give a maybe like a week and a half notice so that you have time to prepare and save and do all of the sneak peeks and stuff 
Tins and Meadows, and a Pride Sampler. Not a Pride Sampler. Pride Vinyl. This is like a holographic vinyl. I think we... I, I didn't make a big deal about the donation. Um, I kind of just quietly did it, but you can see the receipt on the listing on, the, on my website. Um, I think we raised like 3,500 or 800 USD. I think it was 3,800 USD, which is so incredible. I'm just so happy that I'm able to post things like this. And I do want to do at least one more fundraiser by the end of the year. Last year, I went a little crazy and I did like, I think I made like 12 donations, which is so awesome. It basically averages out to a donation every month. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to do another one by the end of this year. I started my back to school shopping. I really do not need anything. Like I have everything I really need, but I don't know. I just like to treat myself once in a while. So I'm really hoping that the items will arrive next week because I kind of want it to be my next video, like after this one. But if it doesn't arrive, then I will have to probably do a plan with me last minute. Also, I know you guys have been waiting on an office tour. I promise I'm gonna do it before I leave for Toronto to attend university again. Um, I've mentioned this like in so many videos, but I just keep putting off buying a desk. Like, I just, I don't know. I'm completely fine spending money on um, office supplies and stuff for the business, but when it comes to like personal things, like buying a desk for myself, I don't know why, I just like agonize over it. I think a lot of it has to do with like self-esteem issues, honestly. Like, I just don't feel like I deserve a table, which is so ridiculous, but I finally bought one from Ikea and um, I'm having it delivered, so it should be coming next week. Um, I also got a little shelf thing, and I think that's all. Um, but I'm definitely going to decorate my office a little bit more. Usually I listen to music. Um, oh, case is dirty. While I package my orders. I think I have my Spotify playlist link below. Um, I listen to a lot of random things. I like mainstream pop music and also rap music. A friend of mine also introduced me to like classical music, like cellos and stuff. And then I also have like several playlists dedicated to Taylor Swift, depending on whether if I'm sad or if I'm feeling happy. I think it should be okay if I just mention the first names of my customers. But um, currently I'm packing an order for Valentina and I just love this name, Valentina. This is an order going to Croatia. She's also a, um, an active member of my Facebook group and she posts really pretty spreads. I always love seeing her posts in my group. sure if you can hear the sirens. Oh, I guess I can talk about my plans for the next semester, or next two semesters, which I'm actually very, very excited about. So I will be going into my fourth year of university at the University of Toronto, and um, I talked about this before, but I took so much summer school that I have a lot of space for electives. So I get to take a bunch of fun courses. And some ones that I'm really excited about are um, applications of linear programming. I'm also continuing linear algebra this year. I'm also doing like health economics and um, what's another one that's fun? Oh, I'm also taking French. So. I... hold on, let me finish reading this. I really like Spanish. <laughs> you guys probably already know this. And I've been taking Spanish in school and also self-learning. But for some reason, like, our Spanish courses has to be, like, full-year courses. Whereas things like 
German or French are just like regular semester courses. So yeah, um, I was going to take Spanish 200, but I just don't have the space for a full year course. So I'm going to take French instead and just continue learning Spanish on my own. They're both very beautiful languages. One of my most shameful things, I think, is forgetting my Japanese. So I'm fully Chinese, I speak Mandarin, um, but I was born in Japan, so I grew up speaking Japanese. So that is my first language, and I lived there until I was five. Okay, my apologies. I actually have no idea where I left off. I just got a notification that I had an email come in, and it was an anticipated email, so I had to quickly respond to that, but now I have zero clue what I was talking about. Summer book nerd. Okay, so I just have three more orders to pack for tonight. Um, I have about a hundred that I want to do tomorrow. Um, Ooh, I just got another message. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so basically, I you know the um, foiled emoji head? I reproduced them in four new foil colors, and I just got the notice that it's complete and ready to ship, so I'm very excited about that. But anyways, um, I think that is going to be it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!